Hello everyone. This is the 28th part of the story. Blade God of Blood. Chapter 55 Solution. Dad! It's not your fault. Mindy hugged Damon and shouted Damon, hugged her too, and said guiltily. Mindy, I'm leaving in a while. I believe you can understand why. Mindy didn't want her father to leave. She turned her head to look at Bert and asked hopefully. Master, is there any way you can help my father? Bert took a sip of tea and said slowly, Away? I have it. Damon and Mindy both asked in surprise, What method? Damon, take a board and write on it Master Sorcerer Supreme. I am the Ghost Rider, and I was tricked by Mephisto to take control of me. Please help me. Then kneel at 177A Bleecker Street in Greenwich Village, New York. It will not be long before a super boss will come to you and help you solve your troubles. Bert said, By the way, don't mention me then. I can't afford to offend that boss. Damon and Mindy stared at Bert in astonishment. Is he kidding them or joking? Don't look at me like this. This is the best way. Bert said, Sorcerer Supreme is the guardian of the earth. The reason why Mephisto dares not enter the earth and has been using projection to deceive people to sign the contract is because of her existence. Damon asked, Even if what you said is true, what will Master Sorcerer Supreme do to me? Will it purify me directly? Bert said, Probably not, at most lock you up, and then find a way to turn you back into a normal person. Damon frowned and asked, if I can't change back, won't I be locked up for the rest of your life? Bert said, She should be able to help you change back. Even if you can't, she can help you control this power. This method is too uncertain. Damon shook his head repeatedly. This method has one word from beginning to end unreliable. This is the easiest way. If you don't want to, let's talk about another way. Bert didn't care, he said. Damon, before you, there existed another ghost rider, or say phantom rider. Damon asked. Texas Ranger, phantom rider? Yes, that legend is true. The phantom rider rides a flaming horse and searches for the wicked for trial. Bird nodded. There have been vampires who have met him, so we vampires know a lot about the ghost rider. According to rumors, he betrayed Mephisto. If you can find him, maybe you can get it from him. The way to get rid of Mephisto's control. The reason why I have been in Texas is that Mephisto sent me on a mission to find the betrayer and get a contract back from him. Damon said thoughtfully. It now seems that the betrayer is the last ghost rider. After a pause, Damon said. Mephisto promised me that as long as I get the contract back, he will give my soul back to me. But I don't believe it. Of course, you can't believe the devil's words. Bert thought for a while and said, Damon, you go back to Texas first, and when I get things done here, I'll come to Texas to help you find the Phantom Rider. Damon was stunned. He looked at Bert suspiciously. Isn't this guy a little too enthusiastic? Could it be that he was coveting his daughter? Vampires are immortal. Maybe they like to play and develop something. Thinking of this, Damon quietly pulled Mindy a little further. Mindy didn't find anything wrong and said excitedly, that's great, I'll follow too. Let's go together. No, you're going to stay in New York to go to school. Bert made Mindy wilt with a word. Bert looked at Damon and said, I know you are very confused. On the one hand, Texas is on the way to my destination. I originally planned to go to New Mexico. On the other hand, I want to meet Mephisto. Lord of Hell, if you don't meet him, isn't it a waste of time to come to Marvel? Damon was stunned. You want to meet the Lord of Hell? The most important thing in the world is to be wonderful. When I go to New Mexico, I plan to meet a god. Bert smiled. If you have no opinion, that's what we'll do. Damon hesitated, nodded, and said, Okay, I do need help. Mindy prayed. Dad, let me go with you. I don't want to go to school. Damon, shaking his head. You will be in danger. It's okay. You can't beat Master anyway. I heard that you were beaten into pieces by him last night. Mindy said Damon's face turned black instantly. She was his daughter, and she was told that her dad was beaten to pieces. Not only was she not angry, but she praised the murderer for his greatness. Don't go there, 
It's too dangerous for you. Bert shook his head and said, You stay in New York obediently, and if you want Damon, call him. Damon thought for a while and said, This is fine, but it may often fail to get through. In remote places, the signal is generally not good. Bert smiled, took out a heavy-looking mobile phone from the cabinet on the side, and handed it to Damon, saying, This is a mobile phone used internally used by the Oscorp. It is better than others plus it can't be bugged. Bert said regretfully, It's a pity that my private satellite has not been completed because I am too demanding. Otherwise, why should I worry about the signal problem? Private satellite? Damon was speechless. This guy is really rich. He took over the phone, said thank you, and then started working. Although it's a smartphone, Damon, who has disguised himself as Batman, isn't far behind, quickly figuring out what the phone does. Mindy excitedly said to Damon, Dad, you add my Twitter account, and I will post any news on it. Twitter also has software that can be directly used to video chat. Damon asked, Twitter? Facebook is more suitable for us. Twitter is master's company, and of course, we have to support Twitter. Mindy said, Dad, in the future, if you don't like anyone on Twitter, tell me, and I will let master help you remove him. Damon was speechless. His daughter seemed to be broken. Bert smiled. He thought of something and said, By the way, I have a lot of industries in Texas. If you need anything, you can call me, and I will let someone prepare it for you. Damon said with a smile, A lot of industries? With your net worth, it's quite a lot, I guess it's a lot. Some manors, farms, resource companies, and hospitals add up to billions, so it's not a big deal. Bert shook his head. At this time, he saw Lilith gesture at him with a phone outside and asked, Who is on the phone? Lilith said, Chief George and Director Fury both want to ask the Ghost Rider. Damon, I'll go back to them first. Bert got up. Damon's eyes flashed when he heard George's name, but he didn't say anything. Outside the room, Bert took over the phone and contacted Chief George first. Director George, that skull is called Ghost Rider. He has been driven away by me and will not appear in New York again. Yes, the damage he caused, except for Kingpin's factory and his building, Watchman Company will be responsible. With the press? Electro and the Hell Sisters will help you. After dealing with Chief George, Bert started to call Director Fury. Before Fury could speak, he told about Ghost Rider and Mephisto. Mephisto? After listening, Chief Fury scolded Motherfucker repeatedly. Did he make a mistake? First, Odin, and now Mephisto came out. In a few days, even God might want to join in the fun. Thinking of God, Director Fury shivered. If this one really appeared, the fun would be great. I must consider how to deal with the coming of God. Chief Fury scratched his hairless head irritably and asked, Where is Ghost Rider now? Driven back to Texas. If you are interested, you can send someone to look for him. Bert said, However, don't send someone who has sins on his body. When he sees someone who is sinful, he will not be able to control himself. I see. Chief Fury hung up the phone, thinking about who to send to find Ghost Rider. But after thinking for a long time, he found that no one is suitable. For an agent, which hand is not dirty? The new graduates of S.H.I.E.L.D. have no problem, but such a big event must be led by a senior agent. Let Coulson go, his sins are relatively few. Commissioner Fury made a decision. When he thought of something, he sighed regretfully, but unfortunately, he just asked for 1.2 billion U.S. dollars some time ago, otherwise, this is another great funding opportunity. There are more and more monsters, I not only need to build more bases, but also form the Avengers as soon as possible. Director Fury thought to himself. Ghost Rider thing soon made news, but the unified caliber is that superhumans wearing skull masks are destroying, either the government nor S.H.I.E.L.D. will allow the current scientific system damaged. Because the government and S.H.I.E.L.D. are desperately trying to suppress the heat, this incident is far less sensational than the Hulk. Other than lamenting that New York is getting more and more chaotic, People don't have many other ideas. Although he was very sorry for Mindy, 
to avoid hurting her, Damon left New York as quickly as possible. On the highway, Mindy, who had just watched Damon leave, pouted and said pitifully to Bert, Master, I am so sad. I will go to school after a month. You are using your father like this. You dad will cry. Bert said angrily. I asked you to go to school to make up for what you are missing. If you don't like it, I will arrange a new plan for you in a year. Mindy, who looked sad, immediately said happily. You said don't go back. You are a little kid. Bert laughed dumbly and asked to send Mindy back to the tea house, while he went to the Oscorp. Dr. Banner wants to see him. Banner said with an ugly expression. Mr. Wong, I thought you were different from others, but what you want is the Hulk. You're a bit resentful, Dr. Banner. Bert smiled. You and Hulk, I want both, and I want Hulk not to turn him into a war machine, but to make him a superhero, just like Betty once hoped. Hulk? Superhero? Banner said with great amusement. Mr. Wong, if you are joking, then you have succeeded in making fun of me. Bert said, Banner, I will not stop you from researching ways to eliminate the Hulk, but have you ever thought about what if the Hulk can never be eliminated? Banner was silent for a while and said stubbornly, I will eliminate him. Bert said, Really? I listened to what Dr. Stern said, you can't think of a way now, and even the previous antidote is completely ineffective. Banner was speechless because that was the truth. Bert said again, Banner, the Hulk is you. He has the same feelings as you. He is not me, and I am not him. Banner shook his head repeatedly, completely unwilling to accept the Hulk. No wonder the Hulk kept Banner behind and didn't let him out. Bert shook his head secretly, and he asked, You came to me, just want to ask this? Banner asked, I wanted to ask, are you going to transform Abomination into a war machine? Bert did not deny it. Yes, I dug out his brain and installed an electronic biological brain in it. Banner asked angrily. Then if I die one day, will you also use my body like this? No, because I know you. But S.H.I.E.L.D. and the military will definitely. Bert said. I don't know Abomination. Naturally, we must make the most of it. Banner held back his anger a little, he said. S.H.I.E.L.D. and the military does, but Iron Man definitely won't. That guy Tony came to dig my corner? Bert smiled, not surprised about this, he said. Banner, I said, you can freely decide who you work for. I haven't thought about it yet, maybe. I should leave New York and hide in a place where no one else is. Banner said a little disheartened. Betty was shocked and looked at Banner sadly. Are you going to leave me again? Banner didn't dare to look at Betty. In his life, he was most sorry for Betty. Banner, during this time, I have studied your blood. Don't look like that. All the blood in Stern's laboratory is in my hands. Seeing Banner's intention to withdraw, Bert said to him, I am serious. Back to the topic, I found that I have a way to keep the Hulk from coming out. Huh? Banner was stunned when he heard the words, and then asked excitedly, what can I do? I am a blood god, and I can control blood, Bert said. Just pour my blood into your heart. I can control your heart rate so that you won't turn into a Hulk because of your mood swings. If that doesn't work, I can also control the blood to grab your heart and make you close to death to dissolve the transformation. Banner thought for a while, then shook his head and said, This will not work. My blood will repel and even assimilate your blood. Bert said, no, I have experimented. My blood can enter your heart. Really? Banner seriously thought about the feasibility of this method, and Betty discouraged. No, Bruce, this can't be done. In this way, Banner's life and death will be entirely in Bert's hands. Betty, it's okay. Banner comforted. He didn't care about this at all. To get rid of the Hulk, he even tried suicide. Seeing Banner's insistence, Betty could only give up the persuasion. Banner turned to Bert and said, Mr. Wong, please inject your blood for me. No hurry. Bert waved his hand and said, Banner, if you want me to do this, you must promise me a condition. My blood is very expensive. Chapter 56 Preparation Banner frowned and asked, 
What conditions? Bert said. Cooperate with me to do an evaluation. Evaluate? Banner was stunned. This was a little different from what he thought. Yes, the assessment of whether Hulk can be enlightened. Bert nodded. I will invite the world's top psychologists and education experts to come over and evaluate whether the Hulk can be enlightened. It doesn't matter if you don't believe me, but you always have to believe in experts, right? This? Banner hesitated. He has seven doctorates and naturally believes in experts. Banner asked, Is it really the top? Yes, absolutely the top, with my net worth. Trivial. Bert smiled. Banner, if the experts agree that the Hulk can be taught, I hope you can give it a try because the Hulk is very important to the world. More important than me, a genius with seven doctorates? Banner was a little dissatisfied, and he asked, What if they say no? Bert said, Then I won't mention this again in the future. You can do whatever you want. Okay, I agree to your terms. Banner thought for a while, then gritted his teeth. When will we start the operation? In two days, when we are ready, we will start the operation, Bert said. The blood was already in Banner's body, and the operation two days later was just a passing scene. Banner nodded. Two days? Good. At this time, Betty remembered something and begged Bert. Mr. Wong, can you let my father go? S.H.I.E.L.D. and the military said that my father's situation is very bad now, and he may be imprisoned. Betty glanced at Banner and added, They also said that they can help my father, as long as I am willing to help persuade Bruce to join them. Betty, why have you never told me about this? Banner was very surprised, and immediately reacted. Betty was afraid that he would be embarrassed. In Betty's heart, her boyfriend is the most important. Bert said, They are fooling you. Your father will be fine. Betty was puzzled. How come he is going to a military court? There are still many people protesting against him. Your father has super soldier serum and information on the Hulk, which is enough to keep him safe and sound. Bert added. And the military needs a tough guy like him. He won't have any major problems, and maybe he will make a comeback in the future. Really? Betty breathed a sigh of relief, and she said, This way I can rest assured. Okay, see you in two days. Bert waved his hand and left here to deal with other things. To go out for a while, he must arrange the affairs of the Blood God group and the Oscorp. In the office, Bert asked Lilith, Lilith, is there any new person applying to join the Watchmen Company? Yes. Lilith put the two documents in front of Bert and said, After being selected by the company, these two people are more suitable to become new superheroes. Bert opened the information, and the first one was a black man named Luke Cage. He was transformed by the military. Not only he has nigh invulnerability, but his strength was far beyond ordinary people's. Power Man Luke Cage Bert nodded and opened the second copy, but it was an Asian man. Chan ho In, a street performer, can create and control flames, but his power is not strong. Chan ho In, This guy seems to be from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Bert thought for a while and said, These two people are recruited. This Chan ho In is not suitable for fighting. Let him cooperate with the fire department to help put out the fire. His nickname will be Fireman, Lilith asked. Help put out the fire? Is this also a superhero? Why not? Helping people with superpowers is a superhero. Bert smiled and said, Chan Ho Yin's ability is too weak, and there will be a human torch in the future with the same type as him, but far more powerful than him. Right. Lilith put away the information, and Bert asked again, How's Spider-Man's authorization going? He has signed a contract, and we can produce Spider-Man merchandise in the future. Lilith said, Spider-Man will not divide the profits, and all of them will be used to compensate for the losses he caused. In addition, we need to help him negotiate with the police station to cancel the wanted. Bert thought for a while and said, Didn't the Oscorp research a kind of bulletproof biofiber? Make clothes for Spider-Man. A dignified superhero has to buy their own merchandise as uniforms, 
It's so pathetic. You seem to be very fond of Spider-Man? Lilith asked. Not only did Madame Gao teach him Kung Fu, but also gave him various conveniences. These days, there are too few innocent people like him, Bert said. Don't talk about this. How are the preparations for several vampire movies? The script for Blade has been written. Blade is the protagonist, and you will appear as a mysterious being, Lilith said. The rest of the movies that promote vampires are also in preparation, Bert asked. Very good. Does Blade agree to play? Lilith said blankly. He disagreed, but he sent his sunglasses. He said you once said that the sunglasses are his body, so this is also counted as his performance, and you have to pay him for the performance. Ha ha, Blade, you've changed. Bert laughed and asked. Is he been short of money recently? Lilith said. He is chasing the female doctor, and his mother Vanessa is used to spending a lot of money. Every family has some difficulties in some way. Bert shook his head and said, The Vampire Clan Police Station did a good job. Give them a celebration banquet, and everyone will get some bonuses, including S.H.I.E.L.D. Lilith nodded and wrote down, Okay. Also, find someone to write the script for The Vampire Police Station, and try to reflect the situation of the Vampire Clan as realistically as possible. Bert said if Blade is good at the box office then, Vampire Police Station is a derivative series. If it is not good at the box office, it will be an independent drama. After thinking about it, Bert continued. For the protagonist, find a handsome and beautiful vampire to play. This is a face-seeing world. As long as you are handsome enough, fans don't care if you are human or not. Lilith asked. Is this propaganda really useful? It's useful, but we can't expect too much. Bert shrugged and said, Take 10,000 steps back. Even if it's useless, these movies can make me get a lot of beautiful women. It's not a loss. Is this a fake public benefit? No, it's a public and private affair. Lilith glanced blankly at Bert and said, James reports that many companies are contacting Anton and his son, including Hammer Industries. Don't worry, their estimates are less than a fraction of mine. Bert doesn't care at all. Which company can give Ivan five billion dollars? No, it's now tens of billions of dollars. Lilith didn't say much. No matter from which point of view, it is impossible for Ivan to change jobs. After thinking about it, Bert took out his mobile phone and called Ivan and said, Ivan, don't throw away your smashed hero armor. Repair it a little to make sure it can be activated. What do you use it for? Not anyway. Eh? My battle armor is almost ready? Well, I'll go and receive it in two days. Putting down the phone, Bert picked up the phone, pressed it, and instructed. Felicia, call the company's senior management. I will hold a meeting and discuss the development plan for the next few months. Felicia replied. Yes, blood god. Bert said again. By the way, you have been doing well recently. Come to my house at night to see some artwork and study the art. Great, thank you, Blood God. Felicia is overjoyed. The artworks of the Blood God are not many, but very few, and they are high-quality products, some of which are even national treasures. Anyone who loves art can't refuse. Two days have passed in the blink of an eye, and today is the day when Bert operated on Banner. Needless to say about the operation process, it was just acting anyway. When the operation was over, Bert took out two high-end-looking controllers and threw them at the two, saying, This one can control the blood. There are several commands, including remove control, increase control, etc. Banner and Betty quickly grabbed the controller, and Banner asked suspiciously, The operation is really over? Why don't I feel anything? That's because you're anesthetized. Bert smiled and said, Practice brings true knowledge. We will start the experiment directly. If there are no other instructions, the blood will always control your heartbeat. Think about something that makes you angry. Okay. Banner nodded and began to recall General Ross's pursuit of him. He was full of indignation. He hated both General Ross who was chasing him and the injustice of fate.
for letting himself suffer such pain. Betty kept staring at the instrument next to her and found that Banner's heart rate had hardly changed. She couldn't help but ask, Bruce, are you really angry? Banner also found that his heartbeat was stable and said very happily, I'm really angry. This feeling is so strange. It's like the body and consciousness are divided into two parts. The consciousness is angry, but the body doesn't respond. Bert touched his chin and said, Why do you feel weird saying this? Weird? I don't think so. Banner shook his head and said impatiently, Let's start the next step, Betty. Use the controller to release the blood's control over me. Okay. Betty nodded, took out the controller, and clicked the red button below under the guidance of Bert, and a voice sounded immediately. Release the control. Betty was surprised. Your voice? Bert said, Yes, my voice, that blob of blood, will only follow my orders, don't worry, it's useless for others to imitate my voice. As soon as the control was lifted, Banner's heartbeat immediately began to speed up. This was an instinctive rebound. Banner took a deep breath to prepare Betty and then continued to recall the angry things. Green light gradually began to appear in his eyes. After a while, Banner held his slightly green head and shouted to Betty in pain. Betty, activate the control! Betty started immediately, and the controller sounded. Control activation! Before the voice fell, Banner's heart was pinched heavily. Banner fell to the ground in pain, and his mind was blank as if he was about to die. After being hit so hard, the green light in Banner's eyes quickly disappeared. Bruce! Betty hurriedly squatted down to check Banner's condition, and Bert said, My blood will protect his body, plus his own specialty. Generally nothing will happen, but it is better if you use this trick, sparingly. You need to use it sparingly. Betty nodded. At this time, Banner gradually regained consciousness. Instead of being angry, he shouted happily, It's really under control, really under control. Yes, under control. Betty is also very happy to hold Banner. The nightmare that has been coming for a long time is finally over. After a while, Banner stood up with the help of Betty. He said gratefully to Bert, Mr. Wong, thank you very much for your help. I will complete that assessment seriously. I will find those experts as soon as possible. Don't worry, they are definitely the best, Bert said. Banner, I invite you to join the Oscorp again. I need Hulk and I need you as well. Mr. Wong, I am willing to join the Oscorp. Banner and Betty looked at each other and nodded. This is the case, can they still not join? Do you think that capitalists will help others for free? Welcome to Oscorp, Banner. Your main job is to study yourself, and your second job is to help Ivan improve his armor. No problem? Bert said with joy. After doing so much, he finally brought Bruce under his banner. The next thing to do is to educate the Hulk. Banner smiled and said, No problem. I'm also very interested in battle armor. Maybe I can make a battle armor specially designed to deal with Hulk. If you're interested, you can let the Hulk come out and have a test against the battle armor, which can be considered as collecting data. Bert said, Betty, you should also join the Oscorp. The main task is to study Banner and teach the Hulk. Okay. Betty has everything, as long as she can stay by Banner's side, it's enough for her. After the explanation, Bert called Mercury and asked her to arrange for two people to join Oscorp. Looking at the silver-white four-seater sports car in front of him, Bert asked speechlessly, This is my battle armor? Hey, Ivan, you think I'm blind? This is obviously a sports car, okay? This is a sports car-shaped battle armor, Ivan said with a toothpick in his mouth. It perfectly meets your requirements, Bert said angrily. Do you think I will be short of sports cars? I have all the sports cars for the next season, Ivan asked with contempt. Can your sports car fly? Fly? Bert's eyes lit up immediately. You said this sports car can fly? Ivan was too lazy to talk nonsense, took out the controller and pressed the sports car, and the sports car began to change the mode. I saw that the four wheels of the sports car were deformed rapidly, and then flames sprayed out from the underside of the wheels, 
and the sports car slowly floated up. Cool! Frank, who came along, couldn't help shouting. Ivan smiled proudly and said, There are four arc reactors installed on it, which can fly for a long time. As for the flight speed, supersonic speed is certain, but I don't recommend it. Too fast, the pressure will be great, and its decompression isn't as good as a real battle armor. This marks the end of part 28 of the story. Blade God of Blood, thank you for listening. Please like the video and hit the subscribe button to listen more. Hit the bell icon to get notified of all the new content uploaded to the channel ASAP.